Hello and welcome to this quick guide on how to use challenges in Crater. So a challenge is essentially a, uh, an opportunity for you to give your player something to do that may or may not be to do with the gameplay itself. So it might be complete the game or it might be something really obscure like jump on a trampoline. Um, in this game, there's uh, a lot of shoot shootable things. This is a target practice game. And if you look at the target user script by navigating to the user and then target user, uh, target user script here, which is on, um, which is can be found in the target practice starter template, we can see that we're actually sending challenge events here using this line of code on line 68, which says self get entity. So it gets hold of the user. The challenge event needs to be sent from the user. Uh, and then it says send challenge event. Uh, and it's specifying the name of the challenge event and then any metadata or details about what's happened in the game so far that might be, um, that will be uh, necessary for this, um, for this challenge. If we go over to the create.creator.com, you can actually use this interface to find your game and then navigate to the challenges section at the end of the tab bar here. And this will already have some challenges for your game if you've used any of the starter templates. Um, or if not, then there might not be any, but essentially you can add your own challenges to uh, the game here. So this is the way we do this is we have this one line of code sending a challenge event. And then we're listening out for that challenge event here in this, um, in this interface over here. Now you can see that there's already some challenges. This one is the uh, listening for the race end event. Uh, and this is asking you to complete the race uh, three times. So essentially this challenge requires the race end event to be sent up to the challenge API three times, at which point the user will get the complete target practice three times uh, challenge accolade here. Um, and they'll see this icon appear. Now you can add your own challenges and that's very straightforward. So let's do that. Let's add a challenge here. What I'm gonna do is in my game, there is this send challenge event where it sends the hit target um, challenge event. So that's the name of the event um, itself. That isn't the name of the challenge. That's the name of the event. And it also sends whatever the player has just shot. So I'm gonna use that hit dash target and that needs to go in here in this event name, hit dash target, correct? Yeah, um, the challenge ID. So now that I've got that in there, let's go back through and uh, fill out the rest of this form. So the challenge ID is a unique identifier for this particular challenge in this particular game. So here, this is gonna be target hit one. The display name, I'm gonna call it cannon fodder and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, let's, you can edit localize names. So you can um, add a translation of the display name here by um, entering into these boxes. And that might be, um, that's a really good thing to do because this game is played by people all over the world. And so it gives uh, everyone an opportunity to enjoy your game to the full by, um, by using a translation of this display name. Um, so if you're after someone who speaks uh, another language, then you might wanna check out the Discord or you might already know someone or you might speak two languages or multiple languages um, and you can add those in here. Now let's set the icon. So this is gonna be a gun icon for this shooting challenge. I'm gonna set it to active. This essentially will mean uh, whether this challenge is displayed or not. Uh, and then total to complete is how many times you need to complete this challenge in order, um, how many times you need this event to uh, happen in order to complete this challenge. So for example, with the um, complete target practice three times, it needs to see the race end event three times. If I wanted it to, if I wanted to force the player to complete it a hundred times to get this challenge, I would change this number to a hundred. That, uh, and I would probably need to inform them by changing that number there too. Um, let's leave it as it is. So this is the hit target, total to complete. I just want them to do this once. So I'm gonna, once I've completed that challenge, I'm gonna save challenges. And that now means that that's propagated across all of um, Crater. So if I test my game um, by testing it, <laughs> uh, and 
all I need to do to complete that challenge was essentially shoot one thing. So if I shoot that, you can see I'm getting a challenge complete for hit a target, which is already there. And I'm also getting the new cannon fodder challenge that I've just written. That's coming through as um, as complete. So let's uh, let's just drill down a little bit more into these challenges and look at the conditions box here. Now the conditions box gives you the opportunity to fine tune exactly what the player needs to do in order to complete this challenge. So in my situation, I want this is a this is a cannon fodder challenge, and I want to check that the player has hit the cannon. I don't, I don't want to run this event if they've hit one of the other um, entities. This is specifically for shooting the cannon. So in order to do that, what I need to look at is in this script, I can see that whilst the hit target event is being sent, there's also this, um, the name of what I've just hit is being sent to. And I can interrogate that in the um, interface in here by putting in the name of the parameter, which was name, we look here, this is name. If this was target name, then I would need to change this to be target name. It doesn't matter too much what the name of the parameter is as long as it's the same on both. Uh, and I'm checking it's equal to, and the value I want to check it against is the, well, the name of the cannon. So let's click on the cannon. It's called Circus Cannon 1, which is a beautiful name for a cannon. Um, and put it in the value there. And notice that when I do that, it now says, will pass if, and it gives me the condition, target name is equal to circus cannon one. And it will explicitly say that at the bottom here, cannon folder challenge will be updated if hit target is received with target name equals circus cannon one. I'll save that challenge, click okay, return to the game. And let's test both whether the cannon um, fodder works and whether it fires uh, when it shouldn't. So if I shoot something that isn't the cannon fodder challenge, so none of these are the cannon, um, the challenge isn't coming up. And if I shoot the cannon, it runs the cannon fodder challenge and the challenge has been completed. So that's the basics of how to use the challenge system. It's very straightforward. It's one line of code in Lua uh, and then adding the challenge in that interface in create.creator.com. Hopefully that's been useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you make with challenges and how they can add to the, the longevity and the joyfulness of the games you're making in Crater.